Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, I would very appreciate it if you subscribed and like this video. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I only have seven subscribers and I have like two views and no likes on my videos. And that's not your fault and I don't, that doesn't bother me that much because I'm not doing this for like the fame or the money or anything. I'm just doing it for fun. Because I learned on YouTube, if you get some subscribers, you hit money. But that doesn't really bother me because I enjoy doing this. And if you should enjoy it too if you do it, YouTube. Even if you have no subscribers or, well, no likes or no views. Because I don't. And now let's get back onto the video. I am going to be using blendy pens for coloring today. The only thing I've colored was a skin with the Copedic. Just to let you know, and I don't know if that's cheating, but um, this art that I drew, I was just really proud of it, and I didn't want to ruin it with like a cheap water-based marker. So anyway, let's just get started. Okay, so now that you guys can see what I'm drawing, here let's get started there you go so what a blending pen basically is is you have two markers and it comes to chamber and you got to squeeze them and twist it into the other end so let's just blend these two together and then you take the one marker out oh that made a lot of noise and you color i think i'm gonna color tail this way these things are so weird I haven't used these before this is new to me too And these dry super fast, so it's not like alcohol based markers or Copedics where you have time to layer. It's kind of just a free for all color. It. That's it. And this is looking pretty sloppy right now. Like, how do I know? And to move on, I just think that YouTube is it's a place where it's a fun place for many people who don't have a YouTube channel who just like to go and view things. But something I also want to put out there is there's, I've been looking through other people's videos. Um, I haven't seen any of my videos yet, but I know as soon as I get a bit more popular, possibly, I will start getting hate comments. And I just think that hate is a very not good thing for someone to go through. Because you don't know how this could affect their life. They might be the most cheerfulest, like, person on YouTube. And even though it's jealousy or something, or if they have a giveaway that you didn't win, it's, n it's not necessary to go and, like, unsubscribe and stuff just because you didn't win one giveaway. Because you know they'll have more. And, yeah, I just really feel like... That's something that we need to improve on here. And I just, I am really hard on myself and emotional a lot with how I look and what I do. And I just, I've got hate comments before on my social media. And, stuff, and I just don't want other people to have to go through that because it's not fun at all. A lot of people think it's just like fun stuff just to go and be able to have the feeling to go and bully someone like that's not okay i know like you probably have like the expos like of cyber bullying and stuff like that and like all of that and a lot of kids they don't even listen to that like with social media and stuff and a lot of people don't think it's important and it's just like, whatever, it's, I can delete the comment and that's the end of it. But it's not the end of it because that stays online for 
as long as it lasts, as long as the world, as long as it's, there's a world, there is a social media. And I know social media is a really popular thing, but if other people have better social media than you, they have more likes, like, say I went on, like, maybe I went on someone's Instagram account that was, like, famous, and they had so many more, like, likes and stuff than mine, I'm not even like, like, two likes, I'm not gonna go, and I'm not gonna go be all jealous, and write hate comments, like, you stink, I don't know how you get any likes, like, it's just not appropriate, yeah, so, oh, I'm sorry, they didn't fill in the ears fully, but that's okay. I'm going to get so I'm just getting my teal ready. I know this is not going to blend, but I'm going to try. I'm hoping that this works because this color is really pretty and I kind of just want a blending effect here. And yeah, there's um, a lot of things going on lately. Um, personal stuff, not so personal stuff. And yeah, um, I just want to thank all my friends out there who go and they know I have a YouTube channel and they go and view it. And I've had, had people come up to me and see my YouTube channel that I know and go, your YouTube channel stinks, you might as well take it down. But I just don't listen to them because that's the point. It's what I want to do. They don't have to watch my YouTube channel. They don't have to be my friend. They don't have to do anything. It's me. It's just what I want to do. I feel like I'm getting really personal in this conversation. <laughs> yeah. So... I just want you guys to comment down below, like, what are the videos you want to see from me? Because I'm kind of, like, get running out of ideas on what to do. And, like, yeah. Like, if you want me to do, like, this video here, I'm doing coloring with blendy pens. And I have never really used blendy pens, actually. And I really focus on my art, even though I'm only nine years old. Everyone thinks I'm crazy because I have a, two Coptic pens. Well, a few Coptic pens, and I'm only nine years old. Um, the truth is, I I realized, ow, I'm very proud of myself now. Like, in the beginning when I first started, I would, like, never, ever, ever, ever imagine that these amazing artists out there started my age at the level that I'm on. Like, some artists out there that have the same age as me, I'm 10, 9 slash 10, I started, like, they're calling me how I am now, and seeing what they started at, just, like, it's like, wow. And now I've realized how proud I should be of myself like I always go oh my art stinks and I would never want to show anyone or anybody to my art because I thought it would be embarrassment but and if people do see my art like that what would I do I go and I go and look up some really good artists on YouTube and I show them what their art looked like from before then I tell them I want you to draw this and See if you can do it better. And they do it. And then or they blow their minds that, like, that they're not always going to be best and they're not always going to be something. And that feeling is just... <laughs> like, you can go... You can go and you could practice every day and not put a hundred percent effort into it and always get down on yourself for not for not having good art and not putting 100 percent effort in it yeah just like just oh, she's green instead of black guys oh my gosh
I'm daring to. Ah. I met a lot of fun people on vacation. And I went to Punta Conta. My wash is pretty bad. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> wow. I'm going to mix it up a bit. Maybe like make it tail purple or something. Something crazy. Is. If, you don't get, if you don't do it now, when can you do it? And I don't care. Like my, I've never done like art videos my channel or anything and I don't care if I get hate comments on my art because it's something I enjoy doing and I enjoy it I like it I think I'm good if you don't that's your loss you can go watch somebody else's art channel well it's not my art channel yeah so I've had a lot of softball and I've just been really busy lately and I've always been telling myself post summer come on you're gonna lose like a lot of your subscribers by not posting and all that stuff and yeah like you know i think we're done yeah let me just fix her ears what's cooked i'm only using a coke dick for this because i said that i colored full skin to oh look how similar these are though like you can barely tell so, um, here's the finished product. Um, yeah, so, if you guys, it's my box of stuff, so, you know, if you haven't already, just like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great night, great day, and yeah, bye.